Hey guys, Christy with Meta Studio. I want to share a project that I've done. This is a commission journal that I have created for a very, very dear friend of mine. She asked me to create a writing journal for her and her siblings to record memories of her mom. Now, I had the pleasure of meeting her mom and spending some time with her and I mean, the one word that I could use to describe her is classy, full stop. This woman had grace and she was kind and just really put together, you know, that person that you feel like if you went to their house, you know, the tea would be ready, even if they didn't know you were coming, you know, <laughs> the makeup would be on, the whole nine yards. So... I talked with her a little bit just to find out about things like her favorite colors, what types of things she liked to decorate with, because I wanted this to be a book where they could look at it and think of her and just something that would kind of inspire them to write some good memories. So without further ado, um, she did ask for a soft cover journal. And so I did that. I made it with the craft text like I usually do. So, here is what we have. I'm going to go ahead and get some measurements so I have it for posterity. That should be 9 by 6, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, I've got about 9. Oh, about, about 6 and a quarter, 6 and a half. And then the spine is about an inch. I did the uh, corset spine. What I did was the fabric, the closure, and believe it or not, this ribbon I soaked in avocado dye. The ribbon, it's hard to tell, but it, it does have a bit of that avocado kind of dusty pink tint to it. Um, this was a much lighter colored fabric when I got it, and I had asked my friend if she wanted me to leave the fabric as it was to use tea dye or to use avocado dye. And she had asked for the avocado. And so I did that. I put the fabric, um, let's see, the fabric is glued onto some cardstock, but there's also craft text in the center. This is, uh, what do they call it? Um, bias tape, I think, bias tape. And so I dyed that and just tied a little bead on here. Let's see, so to start with the charm, on this charm, I took some Scrabble tiles with her mom's initials. And then on the back, there's just, I collage some book pages with some little flowers. The front is finished with resin. The back I used glossy accents. And um, for the beads, her mom was such a woman of faith and um, so I wanted to make sure that I got an angel on here. I also have an angel inside here that, that I'll show you. And let's see, got another little flower here. And I put a dragonfly. And then this um, dragonfly with the key was actually part of a Happy Mail package that I got from another very special friend, so I thought that this would really infuse even more good energy in there. So I just kind of um, attached the uh, initials onto the ribbon at the top of this corset binding here. Let me show you that so you can kind of see where it's tied at the top. And then this charm part is just latched into that top. What's the word? Eyelet. Okay. And um, there's double stitching. It just felt like the thing to do. I wanted to make sure that I got all the way around and also got the craft text um, sewn in as well. Now what I did with this, before I glued this down, I kind of took the um, bias tape and wrapped it around, glued it in there, and then put the top on and sewed it all so it could you know, if, if one of the 
um, great grandbabies got a hold of it and, you know, gave it a good yank, tapped a coffee mug, you know, like I just did, it won't hurt anything. So, all right. So on the inside, this is the, I think this is the natural colored craft text. And I just paper clipped a little watercolor, just a little watercolor tag there. So there are three signatures. The first signature is avocado dyed. The second signature is tea dyed. The third signature I dyed with a combination. It was spinach, parsley, and peppermint. And it's a 28 pound paper. There's a total of, hold on, 120 pages. So 10 sheets per signature. And what I did was I did a three hole pamphlet stitch onto the craft text and then put the fabric over it. So in essence, it's a corset spine, but it's also a hidden spine because I didn't want all those stitches showing through there. So on the inside here, um, for the avocado pages, I did some watercolor bookmarks. There's two of them in here, I believe. And then I used the little trick that I learned from Johnny. I guess it's not really considered as a trick. It's just a little special where I have like some of the savings coupons and then an ice coupon here. So, you know, you can leave this to dangle and it's just a neat little place to add some ephemera. And I think, yeah, there's the angel. I think I got that from Defy. Um, that's it. Yeah, there are not a lot of embellishments in here because it's for the purpose of writing. So I didn't want to do a lot of stamping or anything to take up room where they would perhaps want to put something in here. This is another, just a pretty card. I got these from the Chadwick Rose. It's the Etsy shop for lovely Malia. Um, this is, again, this is the tea dyed section. And just, I did the tea dye really subtle. I didn't want to make it too grungy. And yes, that was hard for me to do, <laughs> to not crunch it up. So um, this is one of the little library cards that Johnny Junk Journal Shop had in her studio box. And then there's the center of this one. I put some tea bag uh, tags there. And then some of the blue chip tickets, I think. Have anything else for this signature that's another card that I got from the Chadwick Rose and then this is the um, parsley spinach and peppermint paper Make sure I'm not missing anything here. and then in the center I found this one that had like a little candle and it just reminded me of the lamp of learning my friends a nurse I don't know it just seemed like and um, this particular quote made me think of her mom. Beauty is not caused, it is. And that is her mom. That's just, like I said, full stop, classy, classy lady. So, and then that's the other watercolor bookmark. And here in the end, I just put a little notepad, you know, because if this is passed among the siblings, um, and this is just basically where you can take little scrap pieces of paper, cut it down, and then if you have some nice scrapbook paper, just fold it over, pop in a couple of eyelets, tie some hemp cord, and you have yourself a notebook. So um, these are the Tim Holtz book corners. I had grabbed as many as the store had when they were on sale because I love them. And yeah, so I think that's it. I just, like I said, I wanted to make sure that I got a flip through of this because I enjoyed making this. It was an honor to make it. Um, and the lady that this is made in the spirit of, she was, she was just a good soul, a very, very, very good soul. So it was a pleasure to do. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be back with some more videos in the next few days because I've got a couple more flip throughs to show you and you guys please take care make peace be kind and be gentle not only with others but with yourself